Hello! Bada bum. Um, so I'm a bit late today. But I think everything should be set up correctly. How are you all doing today? Uh, da -da -bum. <coughs> I'm just slightly. What's the word? Off? Groggy? I don't know, it'll pass. I'll be good in a moment, so... But oh, I'm, I'm feeling quite good. Kinda hyped for the stream today. Um, Trying to think if there's anything specific I should be saying or something like that, but... <laughs> I am not good at that. <laughs> But yeah, plan for today is that we're just continuing on the uh, desert quest that we did last time. And I believe there's also, uh, like, like we didn't quite finish the uh, part one world quest. But I believe there's also part two world quest, which we can do after, um, which will be fun, I hope. So I, I, I think it should be a pretty alright stream. Should be a pretty chill one, at least. And uh, God knows I could use that. <laughs> All right. All oh, right. I was doing Spire the best there today. Um, but yeah. So let's see. What was the three we meant to be doing? Uh, it was this one, I think. The Secret of Al Ahma. That was the one. Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, I managed to 9 star both floor 8 and floor 9. I haven't attempted floor 10, but I'm desperate for primos because um, so far I have wished uh, about 160 uh, wishes spent and I still don't have the owner, so I am very desperate for primos. I spent a full uh, 5 star guarantee. And I don't have the honor, and I'm very salty. <laughs> I just want my cat girl. Like, why is that so hard? <laughs> what are the odds? I'm, I'm probably very, very low. Um, I think Eod is asleep right now, but she could probably tell you. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I've been incredibly undoggy. Though I can say, uh, currently I am on a, like, a highlighted guarantee. My last four star was a weapon. Um, though I'm only two in pity. So I think we might be able to do like one, maybe two wishes today. But overall, I'm not expecting another five, another four star today. Um, but my next four star should have a 33% chance of being the owner. And I'm expecting to get Sucrose. Because like, of course I'll get Sucrose. I already have Sucre C7. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I am 100% expecting another Sucre. Like, no way I don't. But it'll be fine, chat. I still have... Uh, about f about two weeks to, to, uh, to get my cat girl. And I'm not giving up. I, I don't care how many resources it will cost. I will get this cat girl, okay? I am very, very determined. Probably a bit too determined, to be honest. This is probably a mistake. Oh, interesting. That's actually really cool. Uh, kind of like that. Little illusory floors. It's kind of nice. I am definitely not getting distracted. I will never. Wait. How do I get up there? Whoops. Why can't I get. Uh, hello? Okay, I'm giving up on that. Uh, I'm getting distracted, chat. <laughs> Me getting distracted? Never. Have you ever seen me be distracted even once, chat? 
Name one time. <laughs> so, <laughs> God damn it. Um, I need to figure out where I'm actually meant to go because I can't remember. I remember this was pretty like obvious and linear, but like I think I, before in the stream last time, we already went a bit into the ruin. So I need to find out where in the ruin we actually were. Uh, but I think it's up here. I am such a good, like a good streamer would probably ha have uh, went to the place that, that we, the quest is before the stream. Um, Cause that's the sensible thing to do. But I am, as we know, not a good streamer. <laughs> so, we are just gonna walk, I, I'm pretty sure it's down here at least. Yeah, I, I, I think I found it, uh, maybe. Wait, where do we go from here? It's definitely down here. Like, I remember being down here. And and the quest marker is right there. Oh, right, there's a door. I'm smart, okay, chat? I, I, I found it all after, like, 20 seconds, but shh. I know what a door is, I swear. This mushroom is annoying me, so will it die? Nice. So. There's a random Fatui here. Don't you love when you're like, exploring some quest completely unrelated to the Fatui and then suddenly Fatui people are here? Uh, well, actually I don't think this is completely unrelated to the Fatui. I do actually... Not that I think about it, I do remember the Fatsuin being here last time, so... I suppose I'm probably just an idiot. Uh, but there's nothing like inherently that new about that discovery, so... Oh well. <laughs> but hey, at least this area is pretty. Like, look at all the statues. Like, look, look like Egyptian uh, gods and such. I'll go back through off stream to get all the chests. Uh, I don't want to waste my stream time collecting chests and such when we have stuff to do and goals to complete. And I'm actually really curious, like, about this quest and where it's all gonna lead. Proceed deeper within. We just just keep going, I guess. Okay. There's some aramites here, but they don't look friendly. Uh, I kind of hate like how aramites. Well, I guess actually I actually do like how air mines are, are, are sometimes friendly. That scared me. I don't know why, but I kind of forgot you could do that. <laughs> and that gave me a shock. <laughs> oh, well. Well. <laughs> I, I love sound alerts. Sound alerts are great, but yeah. <laughs> I should probably turn my sound. Wait, is this game sound? Uh, I forgot to adjust the game sound to the volume I use when I'm streaming. That's why my computer was so loud. This makes more sense. The game sound should be better now, I think. I hope. So yeah. Um, so point of that was to demonstrate that I was an idiot. <laughs> but thank you for reminding me about the game sound accidentally. I know that wasn't your intention, but you did, so <laughs> now, now I'm a bit more of a prepared professional streamer, I suppose. So that's good. I mean, I do technically get paid, so you can't claim that I'm not a professional streamer. Uh... 
Yeah. <laughs> the most professional streamer of all time. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm going with the uh, Deshred, isn't it, ty Tyrant? Doubt? What, what, what could you possibly be doubting, Yui? Like, what have I possibly done wrong? I I think I, I am definitely very professional. Like, I'm the most professional streamer that has ever lived. Probably. <laughs> I could see them kidnapping Ben Ben. That, would, that wouldn't be very good. Sure. See, Yui agree with me. It's perfect. If even Yui agrees, then it must be true. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm and they 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 won't kill me. Only my idiocy will kill me. Um, that's usually how it goes, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm hopefully it'll be fine. I'm sure it will. Well, what could possibly go wrong, chat? Like, can you... Name one thing that could possibly go wrong. Uh, and, and... Okay, there's a lot that could go wrong, and most of it would probably be my fault, so... <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm, Alright, so... Let's go beat up some, uh... Fatui. Oh, we're not even gonna beat them up, we're gonna tackle them in cutscene. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so these guys are friends of uh, of our friends, or maybe not. Maybe not friends. They're probably like old pe friends that they probably don't want to associate with anymore. Just because he knows Jevril doesn't mean he's like a good guy. Uh, far from it. Like, I know plenty of people that I really don't want to talk with. Um, it's not uncommon to want to get rid of your roots. But yeah. Hmm. Okay, this guy is very suspicious. Okay, so clearly. Gibral uh, wanted to cut these guys out. Um, the question is, what did they do? Hmm, interesting. Treacherous grit. Th that is uh, not a very friendly way to call someone. <laughs> I really want to beat this guy up, but uh, hey. It 
it's going to be very fun satisfying when we finally get to beat him up. The secrets of our Atma. There's a lot of fans and names that, that I'm very bad at pronouncing. Um, and I want to try and pronounce them. But I just... I'm... I'm um, it's not exactly like a ethnic culture that I'm very familiar with pronunciations of. And I don't want to come off as insensitive to people from that culture. So I'm trying, but like it is... It is slightly difficult to pronounce all of these names. But I mean, I do think it's pretty cool. I, I do appreciate... Um, the game representing quite a few different cultures and, and like it makes it feel much more interesting i do like when games draws uh, from uh, real life cultures and take inspiration instead of just like trying to make things up because you can do so much more by taking inspiration from the real world Do I still wonder why are these guys blindfolded? Like this is my main concern regarding the Aramites. Why are they always blindfolded? It feels so wrong. Yui, uh, Yui just tried to survive on the surface of the moon with no atmosphere. Please tell me she had a spaceship on. Or a spaceship. Please tell me she had a space suit on. I swear I am good at language. I'm guessing Dewey died a painful and slow death. Actually, probably not very slow. Um. <laughs> Cause that doesn't seem like a great strategy, Yui. Though I can't say I can't relate. I, I do do similarly stupid things all the time. As has been thoroughly documented in my streams. How your lungs. Ech. It'll be fine, Yui. Just go for a run. I'm sure it'll get better. Oh, you can't breathe? Well, have you considered running? I, I think there's a similar saying in, in English, but there's a, like a common joke of like... Uh, in Danish, this uh, is back. Literally translated to it, uh, that has to be run off. Like it's something a lot of toxic people say when you get hurt. Uh, they they tell you you just have to run it off, right? Uh, walk it off. Not quite, but n not quite because it's very specifically uh, go for a run. Uh, it is the Danish expression. Like, like, the important bit is that you have to run it off. But I, I guess it is similar to walk it off, like an interpretation. A lot of very toxic people uh, use that expression. It's kind of be become a parody as a joke. That if someone, like, breaks their leg or, like, something like that, you say that. Because obviously they can't, but a lot of toxic people would tell them to. If that makes sense. It might also just be like in, in my subculture, because I, I had an old friend whose dad would like unironically do it, and then it got parodied and spread out in a bigger subculture, I think. But it's like, you can't run off everything. Why did I go on this tangent again? Oh, you have ADSD? Just walk it off? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Speaking of ADHD, I think I went on a tangent. I can't even... What was I talking about? Do any of you, like, have... Right, Yui couldn't breathe because she was in space. My brain is very confused. 
I'm just gonna pretend I know what's going on, uh, like a good streamer, and just like smile or not. Except I can't even not, cause, cause I'm a PNG, and PNGs uh, can't not. I guess. I need a nodding animation, so I can like smile or not. I'm overthinking this chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have possibly imagined that I could somehow overthink something outrageous? What? Chat. I think I have a weird obsession, by the way. Like, no shit, but like, a specific weird obsession this time. Um, I have a thing with trying to balance things and other things. Uh, like, most notably, I at a dinner table, I always try to, like, balance uh, my, my um, forks and knives and spoons and such, like, on top of my finger. And try and, like, find a way to balance them, if that makes sense. I struggle to describe it, but I have an obsession with, like, trying to balance things in neat ways. And I just placed my Rubik's Cube on top of my microphone. And, and it looks very unstable, but it's somehow balanced. But I'm expecting it at some point to fall off and make a very loud crashing noise. But at the same time, I don't want to take it off, because now I put it there, and it's kind of cool, and I, and like, it would, it would break it if I take it off, you know? But like, any moment's gonna fall, and then it's just gonna crash into my table and make a loud noise and scare me. And at that point, I probably forgot I did that, and I would get like completely surprised, because of course I do. I feel like I do that a lot. Relatable though. Yeah, it might be an autism thing. I have a feeling that it's probably an autism thing. Um, like this weird habit of trying to balance things on top of other things. I mean, to be honest, in general, I do a lot of things that uh, are rather weird, but are just satisfying to me for some reason. God knows why. It's probably fine. Oh, Ben Ben is here. Nice. We did a chat. I'm not bad at this game. Woo! <laughs> uh, that, that's gonna bite me. Uh, I I probably shouldn't have tempted fate by saying that. But I'll be fine. Yes, I can you shut up? I, I I don't really I really don't like T S A. Uh he he's kind he kinda sucks. You you really are overthinking it, T S A. I mean, I guess I can relate to overthinking things. I, I, I do have an uh, unfortunate habit of overthinking things a lot. Uh, I, I, I'm sure this comes to c as complete news to you, and you'd never notice me, me overthink anything before, chat. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm just saying things. I, I think, I, I, I don't really know what I'm saying, but it, it kind of works, I suppose. Fair? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alex found a whip? Help? Why would you need help, Yuri? I'm sure you're quite happy about this arrangement, Yuri, knowing you. <laughs> Yuri, I'm not wrong, don't pretend. You don't know? Oh, I do, Yuri. I, 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 I do know. Um, <laughs> like, you don't get stuck in the basement if you, you don't like whips, you know? I just, I just started thinking about like, what 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 I what I just said and like what I implied there, and I'm not sure how I feel about that statement. <laughs> Stop blaming you for that. Yeah, I'm sure you enjoy it, Yuri. Really. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> you know how it feels. I don't know how it feels. I've never been whipped before. Safe for work streamer? See, exactly. I'm a very safe for work streamer. Because a, a not safe for work streamer would probably have been whipped before, but I haven't because I'm a safe for work streamer and I'm very wholesome. You enjoy being trapped without food or water? I knew it. So everything is fine. You just said that she enjoys it, so. Everything's fine. Because that's how that works. I mean, you gotta understand, Yui. It's funny. I, I may have killed all of those people, but, you, but like, it was funny. It's a... Perfect defense. I'm sure that'll hold up in court. Just for the memes, your honor? Yeah, yeah. Can you really prosecute me for mass murder if I did it for the lols? Like, which is just a prank, bro. And, and... and I got, like... 700 views on YouTube, so that must mean that it was okay. I don't know, I, I honestly, I think that's one of my, the, the funniest jokes to me. Um, it is the, uh, you gotta understand, your honor, it, it, it was funny. I, I did it for the lols. Uh, along with uh, the, uh, I'm not a doctor, but like there's a lot of like really good jokes that are just extremely apl applicable in almost every situation. F somehow, <laughs> it's great. Ah. Uh, Not a doctor, you, ha you just play one on TV. <laughs> I I'm sure that qualifies you to take medical decisions. Like, you played a doctor on TV, like, like how could you be more qualified than that? Clearly. I'm definitely not getting distracted, by the way, chat. Not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Sure. See, Yui believes me. If Yui believes me, it must be true. <sighs> oh god. I was making all of these dumb jokes and getting distracted and, and, and then this guy's just my wife was murdered by my best friend and I'm like hmm m maybe I didn't have quite the right atmosphere going into this quest <laughs> uh, that's that's awkward <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say to that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's a very good thing you gave it to me to safekeeping, cause, cause then I can also use it off stream to explore. Mwahahaha. It'll be fine. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I'm like so powerful, you guys. <laughs> You can tell this is a very stable dream where I clearly know what I'm talking about. I mean, to be honest, I do kind of like every now and then to take a bit more of a, like, a relaxed, on serious stream without worrying too much. Um, and just... Just chat with no one in, uh, and enjoy playing a game. It's kind of relaxing every now and then to have a stream like this that's a bit more low-key. <laughs> so there are less memes. It is in a bit more of a like a chill just doing a quest stream, I feel like. Not sure. <laughs> Me and Alex are a bit distracted? Don't worry, Yui. I get it. And when are you not distracted? What is this? Yoink. It's mine now. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, but ba Yoink. To be honest, I think... I am slightly off today and I don't know why. Um, and I have a lot on my mind, so I'm kind of like constantly distracted. M modding, troubleshooting, ech. That sounds like an excuse. <laughs> 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 
I wonder what kind of mods could, could that possibly be? Uh, one that includes whips? Uh, I'm not gonna say that's sauce, but... Space game, actually, what kind of game are you playing? Uh, what the hell did you... Star Pound? I've never heard of it. Is it your... Right, the spaceship game. Why is the whips in that? Terrarian space? Isn't it 3D, though? Don't ask why we got it. You have no idea? Interesting. <laughs> Why did you get it, Yui? Is it, could it possibly have something to do with the fact that there's whips in this game? Knowing you? What's the thing that I'm fighting? Yes. Oh well. It's not... N it's not not safe for work. Hmm. Sure, Yui. Just like this channel is uh, totally safe for work. Totally. I I see nothing suspicious there. Where is the enemy that I'm fighting? Why is it playing combat music? I don't understand. There's no enemies here. Is it up here? What's an enemy up here targeting me? Okay, not anymore? I'm so confused, chat. But oh, that thing, that thing was attacking me. How did he even see me from up here? I haven't been here. I'm so confused, chat. Well, I guess I can murder you if you insist. The problem was you download the uh, OG version of a mod and you download the Redux. Ah, so you couldn't play together because of that. That makes sense. Basically, uh, you guys are idiots. Um, just like me. Yay! We, we could, we just crashed. Ah, fair enough. Play her game just crashed on certain actions when trying to do something. That makes sense. Well, I'm glad you discovered it so you can like have fun playing together properly. What am I even, like, trying to accomplish? I'm a bit confused, to be honest. Which is useful. Uh... Oh, I see. So we need to, uh... Probably line up the four cinder ones, yeah. I would guess. And that probably does something, maybe? Clearly I know what I'm doing. Hey, hey it does something. I got a chest. And then we can uh, uh, do the four other ones to unlock the doors? Or something? Probably would make sense. So, 
point this thing towards the door. Right. Do the same for this. I don't know where I'm going, chat. I'm so lost. I'm definitely going the wrong way, though. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm the... It's me getting lost, I would never... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm losing my, my carefully crafted image as someone as good at finding their way. Uh, oh no. What is this thing? Mark? The what? Oh, interesting. The storm. Oh, so if I get enough of these seals, it'll do something? Whatever that means. Uh, but it's definitely not relevant for the current quest I'm on. S uh, so this is the wrong door. We meant to go for the other door. I am very good at this chat. So if we do this, I should open this door, which I think is the door that we need, maybe? I am very confused, chat. Yeah, this is the door we need. There's something here. So if we take this thing to here, it should give us something. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. That took me way too long to figure out. <laughs> ah, and this goes up to the other checkpoint. Right. God, that took me way too long to figure out, chat. My, my brain is off today. Implying that I even had a brain to begin with. Okay, so now we can do that and and follow it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That seems to be doing something. Probably. Okay, we're back on track, chat. We're gonna be doing the quest. Woo! Make. <laughs> Imagine actually like being able to follow a simple quest. Couldn't be me. Apparently. <laughs> oh, we're back here. I'm pretty sure we've been here before. And then we can carry this thing up the steps towards something. And open the gate. Ah. We need another key, probably. Because there was two of those release platforms. Yeah, yeah. So, so we need one more of these things. Perfect. So let's go back down and try and find that. I feel like I'm getting lost a lot this stream though. <laughs> this is kind of dumb. I don't really want to deal with you guys. Bye.
Alright, so let's try and go up here and see if we can find the thingy magic. Would be nice. It's supposed to be up and like behind us. It's probably related to the torches, but how do I light up the torches again? I don't remember. I can't just light them. I probably need to activate this thing. But how do I do that? Oh, over there. I'm. Has this thing been here this entire time? How did I never notice it? Because this is exactly what I needed. God, I'm blind, chat. Okay, what are you? Right, so this thing allows invisible objects to reappear, so that's probably gonna... Yeah, so now, now, now we can see the torches, so now we can light them all on fire. Which is good. Okay, it's temporary, so we need to go back and get it again. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't need mechanic. And it didn't do the thing that we needed to, it just gave a chest. I, f I was sure that was gonna be it. <laughs> but no, it's completely. Oh, wait, no, it also opened the path. Okay. That's a bit more to it than just giving a chest, I guess. Like. Wait, this isn't it. Maybe we're supposed to go back up, I guess? I'm so lost, chat. I just try just climbing back up and see where we end up. I'm just going towards a quest marker, I guess. Well, I mean, this is spider for tree. I don't think it's here. There's a sigil here, which is neat. I guess we might as well take that. Yoink. I don't understand, Jack. Where is the thingy magic? We'd expect it to probably mirror, so it's probably on the like, directly opposite side. So it's probably where the Futuri are. But the Futuri here, it has no cool object of thingy magic. <laughs> Only Futuri? I think you can tell chat that this is a... Uh, Okay, we're supposed to proceed deeper within the room. It's definitely within the room. I'm pretty confident about that. So let's try and go back inside and see. Make sure this got. Oh, it's right there. I am so blind, chat. This is insane. It's like right there. It's been here the entire time. Now we can get through here. Haha! <laughs> I figured it out, chat. I'm smart. And now this thing's gonna move over here, activate that, and then we can finally use this thing. God damn it, chat. That took me so long to figure out. I swear I know what I'm doing, chat. Ish. Oh, 
All right. Got the finger. Now we just bring it over to the other thingy magic. And hopefully open the big door. That would be pretty cool. Like now I'm kind of curious what's behind that door, right? After we've been through all of this. It's a giant door, like how can we not be curious? Hey, we did a chat, we opened the door. Okay, there's another... Is that a grave? No, it's not. Hey, we got another mark on the stone slate. Woo! Oh, that's a different kind of mark. That is pretty cool. We got a map. Look at that chat. It's a map. What are these wonders that attempt at whitewashing? His rule. What does this to do with whitewashing? Do I not get what that word means? Um, Chad, can someone explain to me what does whitewashing mean? Because I'm. Cause I think I am misinterpreting it slightly. Making sound better than it was. Oh, interesting. I thought it was like w when they uh, replace l or like make make white actors play characters that should be other races. I guess I I'm bad at wording things, but like in movies, right? When, when they like make all the actors white, I thought that was whitewashing. It means that too. Uh, I don't know if I enjoy the implications of having the word for replacing actors of other ethnicities with white people be the same word for making something sound better than it was. That feels like it has some interesting connotations. I get that it's probably unrelated and it just happens to be the same word coincidentally, but hmm, I'm not sure... I it's unrelated. Yeah, I would figure it was, but it feels weird. Oh wait, isn't whitewashing also like the thing you do with money? Like when you have a bunch of stolen money, you whitewash it to uh, make it legal, if that makes sense. Or like make it so it can't be traced as being stolen. I think that's also called whitewashing. So whitewashing means a lot of things, huh? It's a flexible word. And who doesn't like things that are flexible? But alright, so in this case, it's an attempt at making it sound better than it was. Or like, yeah. So, Tia's theory is that that 
Deshred was a terrible ruler, but he built a bunch of cool wonders uh, to make himself get a better legacy than he should have. Yeah, sugar coating. That's a good word. Sorry about that, Chuck. Yes, yeah, so there's a big temple on the map. So th I'm guessing in the part two of the desert quest, we go to that temple instead. Thank you for explaining that he sounded uh, uncertain. I didn't notice because he's not voiced. <laughs> Alright, so back to the merchants. But I think we're done exploring the pyramid. Um, so now we have to go back to the oasis. Which is over here. The Sobex Oasis. Wait, Sobek is the god of crocodiles, right? Well, maybe not in this world, but it's interesting to use that word. Because, like, this is what it's called, right? Yeah, Sobek Oasis. Huh. It's probably some unrelated Sobek in this world that it's named after. But like, I'm pretty sure Sobek is the name of the god of the uh, crocodiles. If I remember my mythology correctly, I, I do think I'm pretty decent mythology, so I'm pretty sure that's correct. This buff guy is getting pretty annoying. There was even a crocodile right there. Oh, 
All right. I mean, I don't like the academia guy. He feels pretty racist and shallow minded. I do like uh, Nazi girl. Like he's pretty chill. from one step. Natigal. I'm pretty sure his name would translate to uh, oh, what's it called in English? Nightingale? Like, like the bird. I'm pretty sure his name is German for Nightingale. Yeah? Alright. I'm not crazy then. Good. I, I do like nightingales. I, I remember I did entire like assignments uh, in Danish lesson on a poem about nightingales. Maybe that's a stupid thing to like remember about nightingales. Like, so it's a pretty f a famous Danish uh Get, I'm not sure if it's a poem or if it's a novel or what it is, but still, it's pretty famous, at least in Denmark. That, honestly, if it wasn't for that, like, uh, poem, novel, or whatever it is, I wouldn't even know what a nightingale is. Because I'm really bad at bird names. Yeah, I'm definitely with Gibral here. But you can have a bad past and still, like, I don't know. Yeah, I agree with that. Depends on circumstance. Even if they cheated you in the past, they could have improved themselves as a person. I, d I don't like this that he's kind of shadow minded. Huh? Right? I really don't like. I mean, I guess he is meant to demonstrate the the stubborn and kind of unwise side of the academia. Like, that's kind of what this quest is trying to showcase. 
And like, the academia is smart, yeah, but they do lack a lot of wisdom. They have intelligence, but no wisdom. While the desert people uh, have way higher wisdom scores. Putting it in D&D terms. <sighs> Is that this quest line complete? No, we have to go to next oasis. Yeah. So dreams beneath the soaring sands. Bada badam. Yes, I can just stop that. This is getting annoying. I think it's okay, acceptable if you have a like a difficult past that you wouldn't be too open about talking about it to just anyone. Like even if you, like, even your daughter, I can understand you probably would wait with telling about the whole uh, the murder your mother thing. So he betrayed them. That makes sense. I feel really bad for this guy.
you already know how you're going to write your paper? How do you already know how you're going to write your paper if you don't know all the information yet? I see. Uh, swear the throne of Al Ma. Okay, I'm I'm getting kind of curious now. I mean, how could he not forget about Paimon? Pa Paimon doesn't really contribute that much in the uh, defense budget. <laughs> I don't think you can. Yeah, I agree with TSR here. Paimon can't really be included in any estimation of group strength, like at all. Has Paimon ever fought, like, anything? Like, at all? I mean, I do kind of agree with Tessa. Like, he's asking it in a bit of an insensitive way, but I do agree, it is relevant to know. Because, like, if I was the April, I, I, I would want revenge. I, c I kind of really like uh, Gibral. He, he, he has a he has a nice outlook on life. I feel like. keep dropping my Rubik's Cube because I'm playing with it for no reason. Uh, not because I'm like solving it, I'm like spinning it on my finger because I I don't know, it's satisfying I guess a a and I like keeping my fingers busy. I don't like doing... I can't sit still, I have to keep my fingers busy constantly. Um, but like it's kind of dumb. <laughs> I keep dropping it. Hopefully it's not like creating anno too many annoying noises, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it just over here where I can't reach it, and hopefully that'll stop my brain from constantly trying to grab it. Let's grab something else instead. <laughs> I just like fiddling with things, you know, keeping my fingers busy.
<laughs> oh, god damn it. See a heart? Song from Al Ahmas text. Interesting. Yeah, Nightingale. Like he That's not a that can't be a coincidence. They directly mention Nightingale in this song and the guy right next to us his name is German for Nightingale. Is, is that a coincidence? That feels a bit too on the nose. I mean, it's definitely a coincidence, but still, that feels very on the nose. His name is literally Nightingale. I know, right? I know it's pro. It's probably like intentional uh, from the developer side, but in the universe it's like 100% a coincidence. You found a bug in the mod you've been trying to make work, right? What 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 happened? <laughs> what did you do? Now I'm curious. I'm, I'm s let's just say after much shuffling uh, of files, we found out that it's literally just a mod item not working as intended. Great. <laughs> I love modding. Modding is a pain. I can <laughs> well, at least you found out that probably it's a good thing. Because <laughs> now you won't need to suffer as much. But what are you gonna do then? Just delete the mod or like remove the item or something like that? But yeah, debugging mods is a pain, I do agree. The mod functions, uh, you just won't use that item. Ah, smart, smart. That is a good way to handle it, yeah? Of course the air mites came here before us.
Well, let's go murder some Aramites. What could possibly go wrong? Well, that was fast. Well, if you're super curious, numbers. you put it in Discord. All right, I'll check in a moment. But yeah, <laughs> we barely even got to talking before they they went with this. <laughs> These airmates are getting pretty annoying though. Oh god. What is the that giant bird thingy? I don't know how to feel about this. This is cash to a giant wind phoenix, I guess. I think it's a summon, uh, most likely. Well, did it. <laughs> Killed them all. Poor Ben Ben. Yoink. Alright, let's see. What did you put in this card? Oh, that's a really sad item to uh, not work. Doesn't that kind of like kill the entire mod if that item doesn't work? Or is there other aspects to that mod as well? There is furniture that has to enable by default. Ah, so you just can't use the normal beds. You just have to use the specific ones. That makes sense. Do I love how that's casually just a mod that you're using? Uh, <laughs> so why am I not surprised? You just have to craft a specific... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. When your partner is uh, 1 1,500 miles away? Yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> you gotta find alternatives. I think currently I only live like a thousand miles away from Eert. Might be less. Not sure though. We have a lot of things, huh?
God, I love that the sound of it so much. It's so good. Meh, save this orator. Well, that makes sense. But yeah. And I will admit, Alex, um, I have also uh, used less than a question, well, less than wholesome mods for games before. Like, I, I, I won't deny that fact. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I can completely understand that. So that does explain wh why you were talking about a whip. <laughs> Wait, no, that was in the base game, huh? Interesting. It's actually one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, that's that's weird to me. Why is there a whip in the base game? <laughs> is that is it used as a weapon? Or something? Like Indiana Jones style? Yeah, okay. It is pretty wholesome then, but still, that is kinda sus. Your Twitch broke? Oh no! That's not good, Yui. Is it okay now? Alright, good if it's okay now. Um, but yeah, I kind of hate when things like that happen. Twitch suddenly just decides, nah, I don't feel like it today. It's a pain. You're staring at a frozen cam? That sounds like an awful experience. Who would want to just like have a frozen cam? I mean, I guess, I guess there's a lot of things you can do with a frozen cam. Could be interesting. Hmm. Wondering why you didn't put on your BI back screen? <laughs> 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 Idiot. Do you need to bunk you? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need any bunks. I did nothing. I am perfectly wholesome streamer, uh, as always. Okay, so what are we meant to do here? Operate. Okay, what does that do? Okay, that open a door, I guess. Well, in we go. Yeet. Oh, 
I don't know what you're talking about, Yuri. I am perfectly fine with that box. Uh, this is a bunkless stream, I think. Ultimate challenge, go an entire stream without bunks. Difficulty impossible. Or, or, or something, I don't know what I'm saying, Jeff. <laughs> Can we just pretend I'm saying things that make sense? Like profound, interesting, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we can go deeper. I mean, the deeper the better, I guess. Hopefully, we can reach all the way inside. Alright. Uh, um. <laughs> I'm a perfectly wholesome streamer, chat. I don't know what you're talking about. I think we just need to kill these and then probably done. Uh, so what does that do? Oh! Right, now we go back up and then we can get another symbol on our thingy magic. Nice! Probably at least, I would guess. Because I'm pretty sure that is the machine that it gives the thing magics. Uh, oh no, no, it's not. It's not the thing magic machine. This is a different thing magic machine. This one is just unlocking the trial by creating a big shiny light, and then when we create three big shiny lights. We done. I am the best at words, chat. Uh, <laughs> My words are so good. Alright. Let's go over to the second trial, which is like over here somewhere. I think. We. Yeah. Right, so now we just down here probably. Yeah. Look, chat. I'm not getting lost for once. Aren't you? Pr aren't you just proud of me? <laughs> Incredible. Not being lost. Uh. Whoops. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Okay, so, how exactly do we get, okay, so this is amazing, the goal is to get down, alright, I can get behind that, or oh, is it a maze, yes, yeah, definitely a maze, because uh, there's a wall here, so this is an invisible maze that we have to get out of, always oh, great, okay, let's just hug the right wall and hope for the best, Can also just walk around in circles like an idiot. That also works. Yeah, this is definitely a maze. That's actually kind of cool, having an invisible maze as one of the challenges. Is that a. No, that's not. Okay, there's a way around here. Okay, go in here. <gasps> okay, I found my way down to the next layer. So now we now need to find the way out of this layer. So, okay, this maze is pretty big. <laughs> but 
But hey, it's still pretty cool to have an invisible maze. Right, just hug the right wall and we'll be fine. Bum, bada, bum. Aha. Okay, I got further down. Okay. Just need to get to the bottom. Haha! -ha. No, that's not quite the bottom. Haha! -ha. I did it, chat. I made it all the way down. <laughs> Alright. Now only one challenge left. Just... I do like invisible mazes, to be honest. They're kind of a cool concept. I mean, I kind of like mazes in general, to be fair. But, like, invisible mazes are especially cool. That, that adds, like, a level of challenge. Ah. Activate the book. Down here. Let's see if we can figure out what we're meant to do. Aha! What are you? That's probably what this thing is. Uh, obscuring cells. Oh! So, similar to the other thing that we found earlier that could make invisible things visible, this thing can make um, things that are visible invisible. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that mechanic. Aha! Now we can make interesting. Okay, so we, we still need another one of these thingy magic. Oh, there's another one over here. No need to un or complicate it. Alright. That gives us that. Okay. So here we want to do the opposite. We want to take the... Uh, this kind of thing and... Ha! I'm a genius chat. I can solve basic puzzles that makes me a genius. Clearly. Keystone. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't have any keystones. Modding is hard? Yeah, it is. Some games it make easier than others, but usually it's a lot of debugging. Um, I remember playing Skyrim that my mods would always break in like a million different ways and it was a pain. You, you're reading code to see if there's something you need to change? Oh god, that sounds like hell. I feel bad for you, Yuri. You have my condo condolences. Speaking is hard. Ha ha! Now we can get in here. And hopefully that does something. Okay, now we have a keystone too. So 
Then we can go open the other door, I suppose. To uh, get an visibility thingy here and open up this one. Aha! Nice. And now we can walk in here. We did it, chat. Woo! But yeah, good luck with your uh, modding and debugging, Yui. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I mean to be fair like how difficult and like how much work you need to put into modding is part of the fun I feel like I feel like it's kind of fun to just fiddle with mods and like slowly debug them and all of that nonsense It can be a pain obviously and and often it feels like you're spending more time uh, Modding the game than you are actually playing it, but it's just so fun and yeah, it's so satisfying when it finally works, indeed. Wait, where am I meant to go? Ah, here. Up and up. Nice. And now we go up to the top, I think. Wait, we can just teleport. Wh why am I taking the long way when I have a literally just a teleport? I'm such an idiot, chat, I swear. Imagine forgetting that you, you have the ability to teleport in this game. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. That is a cool little cutscene. And suddenly there's a giant building in the middle of nowhere. Nice. Let's go, chat. We can do this. The final puzzle. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeet. Now what is actually inside of this building is a good question. And I'm kind of curious now. What's the fourth one of these thingies? Yeah, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the phone looks like, too. Go down? Let's go down to the lower floor. Yeah. 
it not this way, I don't think. Where will you lead me? Okay, you want to go down here? What's the thingamajig? Where did it go? Don't you leave me behind! Oh, it already did its thing, I suppose. Alright. Let's do the next one. Which I guess is just gonna be... This. Slowly work us our way through and solve the puzzle, and should be pretty good. I'm excited. <laughs> no, an invisible maze. Oh, it's, it was just no, no, it is. It was just two walls. It's not really a maze. All right, what did that accomplish? I have no idea. I still don't really... Oh, that unlocked this thing. Alright. Activated one. So now we just need to activate the other ones. Which is done by... Yeah, now we need to go do this one. Slowly waking our way through. Well, that was easy. That one didn't need to go very far. I was expecting that to take forever. Uh, so that's two, I think. Yeah, it's two. Okay. Still missing one. I don't know how to activate that one. Because there's clearly like two we need. So I guess we try and go back down and see if there's something I miss. I mean, oh yeah, there is. Usually, if you struggle to uh, solve a puzzle or whatever, it's probably because there's something you miss. Alright. So now we just carry this thing back up, and that should be it. I think. Oh, we have to get it up without letting the wind destroy it. So maybe if we wait here. No. I kind of forgot how this wind machine works. I should probably check. That will probably help. Because uh, I honestly have no idea how this works. It's probably near the bottom. Hey. Uh, da -da 
this thing. If you wish to pass through them, you'll need to wait for moments when the fan blades stop moving and look for a device that can cause them to stop altogether. Okay, so we're waiting for them to stop moving. And now we go. And hopefully it worked. Yeah, it did. Woo! I'm smart, chat. I know what I'm doing, kind of. Yay. <laughs> Alright, that was the last one. Now we can... Rude. <laughs> I totally know what I'm doing, chat. Alright. See, we activated the thingy magic. Whatever that does. Well, let's try and see if we can uh, go to the throne now. Would be pretty cool. Aha! Uh -huh. Now can we go up? Is the big question. Looks like the answer is yes. Maybe. Okay, what is this? There's a lot of interesting puzzle mechanisms in uh, in in the ruins of the desert. All right. Oh, I see. So we can operate to move things, but we want to move the blue one. Actually, we want to also move red. So let's operate red and switch to blue. And operate blue. Ah, it's a little puzzle. So now we have to switch back to red. I see how it is. Let's try that again. Yay, hey, did a chat. I'm smart. I'm actually surprised with how quickly I managed to do that. I was expecting that to take way longer. Woo! And we have an elevator. That will probably take us to throne room, I guess. Activate. Let's go. I'm really excited, chat. There's so much build-up, it's better be epic. Wait, they stop? I'm guessing this must... No, this is not the phone, this is an elevator. Alright. Up, up, up we go. Okay, yeah. That is pretty impressive, I will admit. Not bad. I kind of want to sit on it. Sounds fun. Paimon, don't just casually f sit on the throne. <laughs> I was joking before. Hmm. 
We're sorting the copying your entire model folder and sending it to Yui. That is a good idea. Uh, to be honest, back when we were playing Minecraft, uh, me and Ear would have a, a, a folder with mods that was synced on Mega. So like every time one of us put a file into it, it would automatically update the other ones. So if you're using Mega Sync anyways, um, that that could be a way of doing it. As long as it's not a filter that like changes a lot, I guess. Well, I guess that's kind of the point of a Mega Sync filter, huh? But yeah, that, that's what we use to do at least. We do have our moments. <laughs> I really don't like Tia Sun. It'll see us out. I want to punch this guy in the face so badly. Uh, the worst part is that... Oh! Welcome Raiders! How are you doing today? Uh, better bun? Let me just give you a shout out. <laughs> um, if I remember how. Hey, I did it. <laughs> Wild Myth. I haven't heard of that game before. Did you have fun? I'm doing quite well, Aster. It's kind of a nice, chill, relaxing stream. <laughs> Just taking it a bit easy. And thank you so much for the follow, Galactic Coffee. I hope you're doing well as well. <laughs> Was Wild Myth fun? But yeah. <laughs> It's a really cool storybook tactics game where you follow people from civilian life through the hero's journey. That sounds really cool. You're doing amazing. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Galactic. I'm glad you're doing well. Um, I, I'm a little tired, but, but mostly I'm doing quite fine. Just trying to take it a bit easy with some Genshin. <laughs> We're right now, like, getting to the big climax of the quest, I think. So, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, Sinya, welcome to the stream as well. How are you doing today? Good evening to you. So suddenly, a lot of people join out of nowhere. <laughs> Both from raids and otherwise. You love that sound a lot too much, Alex. <laughs> Not that I can blame you, but still. Yes, yes, did you? Yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, ear does as well, so. Honk. 
Got sick. Also, why are you late? Just woke up. Oh, that's not good, Senya. I hope you'll f feel a bit better soon. Um, did you catch a cold or something? It has been snowing a lot today for me, so maybe it's also cold where you are. But I, ho I hope you'll get better. Okay, so this is kind of like the big climactic finish of the quest. Uh, I really want to beat this guy up so badly. Please, just let me beat him up after this cutscene, please. <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> It's a cold, yep. You don't know what it is. It's just very tight. Oh, that's not good, then, yeah? M make sure to get a lot of rest and uh, things to drink and eat as well. Like, it's extra important to take care of yourself when you're sick. Even if uh, it, 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 you have to force yourself to do so. Your health is important. You're always taking care of yourself. That's good, Zinnia. I am very rarely doing so, so... Um, <laughs> I know a lot of my chat are not necessarily the best at taking care of themselves, so... Wanna make sure that you're doing your, like, an extra amount of effort when you're sick. Okay, that's more to this. Please let me beat him up. So does it do anything? Wait, did it kill him? The Eternal Dreamland. Um... What? Okay, I'm very curious what that thing just did. Now I want to sit on it even more, out of morbid curiosity. So weird when there are no voices. Yeah, yeah. I can understand them not putting voices in a world quest though. Like, that's a lot of voice acting budget. You're about to fight something. It works now. Hey, I'm glad. Mind if I saw a button? So basically, uh, both of you are idiots. That's the conclusion from all of this. Cause that's kind of how it goes. I mean, no, no surprise there, I suppose. Oh, 
We turn it off in a game. It was a different issue to the early one. Ah, I see. Makes sense. What did you turn off in game? Are you okay, Yuri? <laughs> UI element? Ah, you said that's just stupid. When you casually accidentally disable a UI element and then nothing works. Love it. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of curious what this girl in slumber is though. I kind of like the, these minor characters in World Quest and all of their stories and such. Like, it's kind of a cute story. I would wish to were voiced, but it's still kind of a cute story on how these characters grow. Um, was that a screen shake? Um, why is this... Everything tilting? So that's probably not good. Uh, uh, uh. Do I? I'm, I I am so curious what happens if this thing catches me. Screw it, I gotta know. Okay. What happens if, if it catches me is I just fail and have to do it over again. Good to know. Oh wait, no, that fell. Whoops. <laughs> Must leave immediately. Isn't that... Am I not supposed to go down? I'm not supp... Where am I supp... Oh, I'm supposed to go up? I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go if not down? This thing is like slowly catching up to me. I'm just gonna wait for it. That also fails. She had I I I fail to understand. Yes. I'm supposed to flee, right? Okay, this time it didn't fail. Interesting. 
Oh god, there's invisible walls. Ow. Oh god. Small invisible walls. Okay. The only way is that. I, I don't know why it failed me. It didn't fail me the last time. Down was the correct way. That was weird. I, I guess I experienced some kind of bug. But hey, it's fixed now, so I guess that's good. How do we go to the eternal dreamland? Badly placed trigger? Yeah, it's probably something like that, yeah. Because, like, every time I did a, like, a plunge attack and went directly down to the floor, it failed me. Uh, but the one time I didn't do that and just tried to fly away, uh, it didn't fail me. So I'm guessing there's a trigger on the floor that's accidentally placed there, that fails you, that probably shouldn't be there. Maybe you're too fast? That might also be it. On the, the successful attempt, I did, like, take my time. So, that might also be it, yeah. God, it's gonna be so satisfying to stab this guy. Didn't read the uh, text that carefully? Maybe they said something? That might be, um, in that case they didn't notice, but I'm pretty sure they did, didn't say anything that indicated why I failed. I just, I just failed. I think it was just a bad trigger. Probably, at least. <laughs> This guy is very suspicious. Like, not. No shit, he's suspicious. He's kind of like the, the old penultimate boss of this quest line. That was the most obvious statement ever. Hmm. No, don't listen to him.
Yeah, I really hope. I know where we don't get the chance to beat him up. Though I think I know the location that this quest is leading to. I think I've been there before and it's an absolutely beautiful place. Huh. Did he just kill him? Like... Yeah. He sacrificed himself. Huh. Rip. I don't feel like he needed to sacrifice himself. That I'm sure that's what's not a way. Poor. Mostly I feel really bad for his daughter. I went through all of that. You took the words right out of my mouth, Ben Ben. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a depressing end to the quest. I think there was a part two to this quest, so so this is the end of part one. Um, I hope. Cause di di this isn't a very satisfying conclusion. Poor Jihad. <gasps> I mean, I'm glad I get to keep the stones late. It'll come in handy when exploring, I guess. I mean, obviously I was gonna keep it no matter what, there's no way it will take it away from me. That's not really how this game works. When it's required for puzzles. I feel so bad for her.
I see. Poor girl. So yeah, I'm guessing part two will explore the area that you showed me earlier. But hey, we did it. We completed the quest. <laughs> You'll be lurking and listen to the stream for a bit? Alright. Good night. Um, I didn't mean to start that quest. That was accidental. But I guess... I guess we can. I mean, I... I don't have time for for the full part two of that quest line this stream. But yeah, good night, Sinia. Sleep well. And make sure to take care of yourself. Hmm. It, it, okay, this is just a random quest that I just accidentally happened to start. Oh, she's pretty good. simple and cute, I guess. Saba. I have. N I think it's Saba, but I don't know how to pronounce it fully, and I really worried that I mispronounce names. <laughs> I guess we can do this. Uh, Rose Granding Wishes. I see. Or maybe there is something to it. Brochures sure are piggy customers, I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she just wants us to get us some roses? Oh. I guess we can help over that. I 
Well, that's a simple enough quest. I guess we can quickly do that. Why not? Can, can you shoot the thing? Yo, thank you. <laughs> this stupid rapid. <laughs> Classic, though. That makes sense. So I guess if I come back tomorrow, there'll be roses here or something? That sounds pretty nice. Well, that was a very random world quest that I wasn't planning to do, but hey, I got 30 primos out of it, so that's pretty nice. Hey, we have enough to do a wish then, which most likely will just be a random free star. So, um, chat. That this is. I already. I knew it was gonna be so gross. Ah. <laughs> uh, I swear, chat, this game really doesn't want me to have Diona. I already have her uh, at C6. I w this is the second Sucrus I gotten beyond C6. Well, I mean, at least it's not a free wish. But still, that's so dumb. I swear, chat. <laughs> the game is just messing with me now. Of course, it's just a free star. I'll never get Diona, will I? I'll just... I'll just keep getting sucroses for eternity. <laughs> I'm, I don't even know what to say to that. This is just... I mean, I called it. <laughs> uh, well... I'm sad now. I just, I just want a cat girl. Is that too much to ask? I, well, I guess Sucrose is technically a cat girl. Like she does have, uh, she's a feline. Uh, yes. Camera girl, but I'm not sure if she's a cat. <laughs> does it say in her like story or something what she is? I mean, she is feline, so I guess she is, some, like, a cat girl, maybe? But she's not the specific cat girl I want, and I'm offended. And, and the game keeps giving me more sucroses when all I want is Diona. I have my this unlucky chat. I have gotten now eight, uh, four, I've gotten 12 different characters. The four star. I've gotten 12 highlighted four stars from this banner, and none of them have been Diona. Um, out of curiosity, let me just open my calculator. So, point or like uh, one divided by three. This is the art of getting a Diona, and we've had whoops. We've had 12 attempts. So, to the power of 12. And... Let's just get that in a percentage so I can better read it. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I, I'm di I did something wrong there. That's definitely not right. Yeah, it's because we are supposed to do it the other way around. Uh, calculate the ch chance of not getting her. So, uh, 1 divided by... F no, that's 2 divided by 3. I'm good at math, I swear. Wait, no. 2 divided by 3. Okay. 
to the power of 12 and times 100 minus 1 flip it no that's not right because at times I'm so bad at math chat okay Okay, I'm gonna do this properly. 2 divided by 3. Right. That's the chance of not getting over 1 pole. We got 12 poles. So that's this number. And if I want to find out... Uh, what the odds of getting... That's 1 minus this number. So if I... 1 minus this number. If I flip this number... And then plus 1. And times 100. So the odds of getting the owner um, is this 99.2%. So if you flip that and. That's one. I'm so good at. No, 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 no. Minus one. Plus 100. I'm so bad at math. Okay. 0.8% roughly. If we assume that my I, I got 12 highlighted characters then then it's roughly 0.8% chance not to get the owner in one of those 12 attempts roughly um, the math will probably be different if we take into account that getting 12 highlighted characters might also be unlucky I don't know I, I haven't done the math on that so yeah but yeah I have now done uh, 163 poles for Diona, and I still haven't gotten. <laughs> Diona's playing hard to get. She's too soon to. Like, honestly, it feels fitting that Diona is the playing hard to get for me. Like, like feels like something Diona would do. She is kind of zen, but yeah, I will get her chat. <laughs> I can't keep being this unlucky, right? Alright? I, I may have been extremely unlucky so far, but like, surely it's gonna flip any moment now. Any moment. We'll get the owner, I swear, chat. Even if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'll try at least. Um, hopefully, and like, like we have two more weeks of this banner, so and I'm hoping that by the time of the next stream of Genshin, which is probably in a week or so, I don't know exactly when, maybe a bit more, but in around a week or so, next Genshin stream, I'll have the owner and we're gonna be going around exploring with the owner. That would be very satisfying, uh, that is my hope. And I'm going to be farming a lot the next week to ensure that that hope becomes reality. So... <laughs> that would be pretty nice. But yeah. But yeah, we, we finished the quest, so... I think I might... Um, end the stream here. Because I am a bit exhausted, to be honest, as you can probably tell by my slight rambling. So, I think this might be a good place to end it. Um, so, yeah. I had fun. <laughs> Go sleep. I, uh, not that kind of exhausted. I'm fine. Sleep is so rated. <laughs> uh, I'll find someone to rate, though. But, yeah, thank you for the stream, everyone. I had a lot of fun today. Go rest then. I will, I will. I'm glad I got to stream a bit though. Streaming is always fun. Um, and yeah. Thank you for the stream and uh, have a good night, everyone. Although you, you were distracted. It's fine, Yui. I completely get being distracted by um, things. Now, who should we pray today? That is the ultimate question. Mudding? Yeah, mudding, I'm sure. <laughs> now, 
who looks fun and readable and all of that nonsense. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -bum, ba -da Raids are hard, chat. Raids are hard. I'll try not to overthink too much, cause that's just dumb. Hmm. <laughs> ba da bam. Me or a thing? I would never. That doesn't sound like me. How could I ever do something like that? I swear. <laughs> I'm so good at this chat. I'm so good at my job. Doing chas and grunts could be fun. You can be? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Yui. Probably. <laughs> uh, that's French. I don't speak French, unfortunately. So, I think it's a bad idea that I don't rate someone French. This looks cute. Let's raid them. But yeah, thank you for the same everyone. I had a lot of fun today. And hopefully I'll see you all um, later. On... Oh wait, no, that's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow we do... What were we doing tomorrow? Right. Tomorrow I'll be streaming again. I'll be streaming Pokemon. So, good night. <laughs> and I'll start the raid. Bada bum. Bye.